Not bad. Right, but it's Saturday, it's half past six. I've just finished work. Finished, I've just finished work. Uh, and it's time to get the heck out of Dodge and hit those forests. See you close at the trees. But not too close. <laughs> Right, that is me arrived here. Uh, there is a, a red motor home, looks a posh one as well. Uh, a camper van uh, parked behind us. So I was going to do like a nice bit of arty, you know, getting out the van, getting into the van, blah de blah. Uh, camera work, but no, I'm a little bit shy. I actually am, I'm a little bit shy. And that, that's, yeah. Uh, so parked up, uh, that'll do me for tonight. Uh, got my privacy curtains on because I want to be private. And I put put another one on there. I'll do these two sides, uh, this one and that one. Oh, so I've got silvers for them, and then I've got this uh, black, which one? I think it's car boot liner or something. Uh, so I used this stuff uh, for no other reason than it's cutting it works. So I use them for me, me two sliding doors, uh, and I'm not going to bother putting out on the front. I'll just do my curtain. <laughs> That'll stop all the perverts peeping in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Should leave an honesty box at the front. Let the people want to see. Yeah, uh, Rit, uh, I will get off and I will uh, uh, probably not do much more filming tonight. It is uh, hitting on eight o'clock. Our Newcastle are getting beat two one before I lost the signal. I do get the four G here, which is great. Uh, I have a messy van. Ooh, blow on. Uh, I finish work, man. What's the first thing you do when you finish work? That's it. You whip the bra off it and you let the ladies relax. So yeah, I've got a, a little bit of a. <laughs> I've got a little bit of a, a mess to tidy up. Uh, we'll get that sorted. Uh, get the bed, get the bed out, and then you know what? It's Saturday. It is time to crack a cheeky one. Uh, right. Mission. Where am I? Uh, top north end of Kielder. I am going to go uh, heading uh, into the forest and exploring, looking for ruins, uh, and then I want to find. Um, it's a bit of a recce, really, for uh, for camp spots. So uh, two nights in the van. Uh, the weather's going to be hideous. Hideous. Uh, it's going to be windy and rainy. So the forest is a really good place uh, for the pick because it's gravel tracks. I'll not be walking through or shouldn't be uh, shitty boggy clotty stuff where my feet's getting like trench foot and all that and my trainers is minging. Uh, so that shouldn't be an issue. I've just got to make sure I don't fall over and bear my ass in the forest. Uh, We'll see what happens. It's always eventful, isn't it? So I've got this new light that is supposed to replicate uh, like a like a, a cosy fire. You can hear it raining a little bit. That's the cosy fire, black diamond light. My little hook. Got me me little camping stove on just for a little bit of heat, but just a little bit. That's the other light. Hey. That one's magnetic. This light's really cool. Watch. There you go. Sorted. Watch. Oh. So that's my bedtime light. And then I've got this light. I love that light. Yeah. This has been a very illuminating segment. One can never have too many lights. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, that stopped. Ah, right. I'll get back to having a relaxing night. Happy Saturday, you peeps. <laughs> I love it. I really do. And as much as I love being out in a tent, tell you what, I'm pleased I'm in the van the night. I feel the van's doing that.
morning guys lush relaxing night listening to the the rain hammering down on the, the lingo roof i love that uh yeah a little bit hoarse this morning i don't know why it's probably because it's, i've overslept i've been in bed 12 hours <laughs> oh but i'll tell you what that was just uh, just i please i wasn't in a tent <laughs> oh so yeah a bit chilly this morning uh wet outside outside and windy the neighbours have just left and they're way out uh, hiking whoever the neighbours are there's a nice red 21 reg some type of i don't know mercedes sprinter uh, something like that anyway i don't know uh so yeah i'm just going to have a a, a, a brew something to eat and i'm going to get myself in the forest over that way uh just saying hiya and good morning and i'll show you outside uh and a little tip as well it's not as badly condensationed over as usual in here uh, i've got me two little side windows i can just open these from lying in bed so i can vent both of them yep sorry that one uh, both of them just from lying in bed uh, usually the front suffers really badly it's not too bad this morning i will show you tiny living again uh, that's not too bad so you've got the uh, the front windscreen, obviously the drivers and the passengers say they usually get quite bad. What I did was, yeah, uh, I left a couple of, you know, your, your vents on your on your dash where your hot air comes out when you're driving and that, yeah. Uh, I left a couple of them open last night. Uh, they seem to have aided with the ventilation, obviously, because air gets through them. So a little, little tip there for you, uh, leave your dashboard vents open uh, or to help with a bit of ventilation. You're welcome. Uh, that's a new one for me as well. Uh, right, I'm going to get a brew on. I'll catch you in a little bit. I'm just drying my silver foils. That's why they're lying down. Uh, obviously, they have condensation on the uh, the window sides. Uh, that is your biggest battle uh, when you're in your living vehicles, especially uh, your tiny campers, uh, your micro campers, whatever you want to call them, uh, is battling condensation. Uh, it's a daily battle, a daily, daily grind. So this is the day. Not too bad. I'll be heading up that track today. Uh, and off up, I don't know if you can see the hill. There's a hill there. And then I want to be dipping into the forest. And eventually across that way. So that is my little plan of attack. Little DVS reporting from Lingo. Trev from over the road uh, for the hat. Thank you, Trev. Very, very decent of you. Uh, and congratulations on your first welcome. Uh, so, yeah, nice to get out without wind, isn't it? 
and we're going to have a lovely amble on a Sunday because that's what Sunday's off for, isn't it? Uh, country sidewalks. There's a couple of places I want to look at. Uh, I've just got to make sure I don't get lost on the forest tracks like I did in Curso that time. Uh, what else do I want to say? I want to wish everyone a happy new year! Happy new year! Get in! Well, I want to just say thank you uh, for everyone that watches. Thank you, thank you. Uh, everyone that takes the time or gets the time to leave a comment or is able to leave a comment, uh, thank you. Anyone that sticks a one of them on, hey, thank you. Uh, it just, hi, cheers, peeps. You make up what it is. Uh, all my Facebook friends as well, uh, thank you. Just everyone, you're all lush, you're all super lush, uh, you're a great bunch of uh, people, uh, some of you I know personally, a lot of you I don't, I wish I knew all of you personally, well, most of you. <coughs> so yeah, mail for two nights, no tents, I just need to kick back and relax uh, as we first prop our trip of uh, the new year, or 2023, I think we're already up to, what was it yesterday, the 7th? So I took us a week to get going, uh, apart from doing a tent review. Right, I'll stop rambling and I'll crack on rambling and I'll catch you in a little bit. Look at them views when they open up. Oh. So yeah, I've been looking at this place online for well over a year, probably about a year and a half. Uh, no, I had orange van at the time, it was pre-Covid. So yes, I've been looking at this place for quite a while. Uh, it never got me lazy ass here. Now online it just looked really idyllic. <laughs> it looked like there was a quarry on one side and almost looked like a volcano top on the other side. And I was thinking, oh, that'll have good camping. Eh? No. No, Donna. Google Earth makes the world look glamorous. It makes everything look campable, and in reality, no. Oh, back up the views. But I think this weekend away for me, or this Sunday and Monday, that's my new days off, Sundays and Mondays, uh, more about getting some exercise in. Trying to shift a couple of pounds. I have a two o'clock cut off time that means I've hiked for two hours and that'll give us two hours to head back and that gets me back before sunset and I won't break that two hour that two hour barrier so it's about ten to two now that looks interesting back up there I think that'll take us up to call and tooth I'll definitely be back here somewhere new I'm just going to get to the end of this track, and I know the track peters out. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, hi, it's a bit, bit weird, this one. So the higher you get, yeah, the colder it gets. How's that? Surely you're close out of the sun. Answers on a postcard, please. Uh, that's got me flung up. Flummoxed. What a good word, eh? Flummoxed. Uh, right. right. This is the way ahead. Wow. back uh, probably just as well as divine providence I don't have to plodge through that and get me so far so good dry shoes wet uh, I'll be back get that lush right 
that uh, I'd say mission accomplished. I come out to reach the end of the track I wanted to reach the end of. Seen a couple of cheeky spots. Uh, and I know the terrain here now. For me, that's a job well done. I uh, will catch you further down there. How are you? Let's peg it back the lingo and get some tea. That, my friends, is snow. There's the lingo, final stretch. I'll see you inside. Back the van up, past three, changed into dry clothes, slightly reparked. In the part of someone's spring there. Off an automobile, I hope it's not off mine. <laughs> there we go. It's all about the views, eh? Lush. Right, it is blinking chilly, so the best thing to do is to cook tea, which will heat me and it will heat the van. Uh, that is uh, a base mix for a vegetarian cottage pie. I did that at home uh, on yesterday morning before leaving for work. Uh, it is quite simply. Uh, celery, onions, grated carrot, uh, a tint of green lentils, uh, a stock cube and some vegetarian gravy mix. I will top it with the perfect mash and a bit of cheese and that will be lush. There you go, let's have a look. Oh, eh? That looks quite acceptable. It's hot, but that's what I want. Mm. Yeah, Lord, that is good. That is restaurant quality. That is exceptionally good. <laughs> Accessorised with. All these uh, rip off of a, a brew dog punk. Uh, brew dog were that impressed. They did all their own IPA, which I'll be trying later. Well, I've seen trying. I've had them before. They're delicious. Uh, so yeah, I got a homey tea. At least it's not gone any deeper. Ah, but I'm going to get myself a bit, I'm tired. Uh, a nice night. I watched that film, Judy, about Judy Garland, uh, with uh, Rennie Zellweger. I was watching Mad, Mad Max uh, Fury... Uh, was it Mad Max Fury Road? Uh, it's, it's, oh, I couldn't get into it. First time I watched it, I didn't, re I didn't read it. I couldn't get into it. Uh, it certainly wasn't something to watch on a small screen in the van. Uh, but that Judy Garland film, yeah, it's the second time I've seen that. This is a really good film. I love films. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed that. A uh, couple of couple of IPAs, uh, nice tea and a little bit of online and snowing outside. <laughs> Just your regular, <laughs> Just your regular uh, trip out to the country. Oh, but I'm going to get myself to bed now because I'm tired. So I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, hopefully the sun will be out uh, and we'll get, we'll get up that way. But a couple of hours before having to head back home and the drudgery of everyday life. Morning guys. Oh, that looks a bit better. I knew that snow would be gone. Actually, that's beautiful. Uh, I'm going home. That bit of spring there, yep. I'm convinced it's off mine. Uh, night before last when I was sleeping. I heard two distinctive and loud ping noises. Oh, look at that view, man. Uh, and I didn't know what they were. 
So yeah, I had the two the two big ping noises, and I didn't know what they were. Uh, I even was making up stories in my head like has a bird flew into me uh me aerial and, and knocked it. Uh I'm pretty sure that's off me, so I'm gonna have to limp this home. I'm gonna get out and have a look. Uh but whether I can see if it's off me is another matter. I'm not fussed. Uh play it safe. I always like to play it safe. I, even if I can get the car to a bar, uh, I'm out the backwards, aren't I? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Again, another thank you. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I do have a, a if anyone wants to buy us a coffee, I do have that facility. Uh, I will try and remember to put it on the videos. I would like to thank uh, Neil, the Neilo, uh, for the Magnificent Seven. Uh, and that, that, that's starting off me uh, buy us a coffee. Uh, crikey, lad. <laughs> crikey, thank you ever so much, Neil. Uh, mm, wow. Well, cheers. It will go towards the upkeep of the lingo, which is my uh, major expense uh, and petrol, obviously, for doing these videos. Uh, right, that sun is out. Oh, what a shame. Uh, play it safe, Donna. You head to the hills, sometimes you've got to head home from the hills. Right, I'll give you another look at this view. Oh, that's that spring's gone. Look how tight it is to the top of the arch, yeah? Compared with that one. Oh, I'm going to be so careful. Uh, wish us luck. Now I'm unsure if it is. Oh, I'll show you the bit. I'm, I'm really good at finding things. So when I found that right underneath my car, yeah, it was quite clean as well, but I've been snowing last night. Uh, and then, uh, um, first thing is, have I cracked a spring? It's sounding all right. Surely I would get a grinding noise. This is me going down the perilous gravel track at that angle. Right. It sounds quiet enough, doesn't it? I'm still limping at home, I'm not going to risk it. Uh, I'm out by myself. I'm um, 60 miles from Baths and Central Eaton and garages. Oh, <laughs> God, looking splendiferous as well. Uh, Aye. I've got a, a sneaking feeling this car's going to cost me some money this year. I know the clutch is on its way out. Uh, you know, when you're on the motorway and you're, you're, uh, you're going into higher gears and it goes, uh, so I know the clutch is on its way out. I'm hoping I'll get to the end of uh, January, uh, get that sorted. Uh, and it, it's MOT time at the end of January. So we'll see We'll see what the, what the crack is. Uh, it has to be done, doesn't it? It's my little baby. That sounds all right. Uh, right, <laughs> I'll get off. Eh? Little worried Van Senior reporting from the lingo after uh, two canny nights and one cracking good day out yesterday. Uh, well, shame I'm not out today, but I ain't risking anything. Uh, well, I'll see you on the next. I'll see you on the next one. Lush hair. Hold on, give a look at that. Give a look at that hair. Yes. <laughs> I will see you. Uh, Hopefully in about a week. A quick update, that's my spring. Wishes luck. Oh, man, it just feels flat. Uh, right, wishes luck. I tell you what, that's been a drive and a half. Uh, just letting you know, home, safe and sound. Uh, no faster than 40 miles an hour all the way home. It took us about two and a half hours. <laughs> I've had the, the, the shame of the queues of traffic behind us, but I'm a good driver, so I've been pulling in where I can, or flagging them past. Uh, we're home, we've done it, we're safe. Oh, right, I'll get myself scrubbed up, changed clothes, uh, bomb straight at the garage. Uh, it's definitely that side. I just popped out before and I've measured, uh, I've measured how far both sides are off the road. This side's uh, sitting uh, an inch and a half lower than it should. I knew it didn't feel right last night. When I was, even when I was asleep, I sort of felt like I wasn't I wasn't level. Uh, you've just got to sometimes deal with these situations, haven't you? Uh, learn how to cope. 
I'll be honest, I've driven absolute pails of shite for years. I've been driven banger after banger. Eh? I've had cars for 40 pound in the past. Eh? <laughs> oh, you just you just get to learn certain certain tips and hints and tips and tricks, don't you? So yeah, limped it home. Uh, home was safe. I'll get it. I'll get it tidied out, and we'll we'll get ourselves to the garage. See what the see what the score is with that. Eh? Hi, so if a spring goes and you're in the Berlingos <laughs> uh, and then yeah, the first thing you do you check online is can I drive with a, a broken coil spring and it's like no don't drive and then you just and you're like oh no what am I going to do and I was right at the top of that forest gravelly thing wasn't I oh man uh, but then a couple of other people was just like take your time uh, don't go fast so if something happens you don't have to brake fast uh, and just be as smooth as you can, avoid potholes, uh, don't go over uh, speed bumps if you don't have to, or if you do go over them really slowly. Take your time, I've got motoring insurance, but uh, it's not for getting a tow home, uh, that's just for if I can't get the wheel off the uh, underside of the back of the car, uh, which has happened before. So, yeah, uh, uh, this one comes with experience. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm looking, I'm looking lush. I might get a couple of pound off, off the fix. Right. <laughs> uh, take on the next one, eh? Oh, with the, the one with the broken coil spring. <laughs> I limped it 58 miles home. Uh, remember, eh? Buy me a coffee. No, be buy me a, a little bit towards fixing, fixing the car this year. Right, ciao, peeps.